determine if vector x is a linear combination of vector v sub 1 and vector v sub 2. If vector x is a linear combination of vector v sub 1 and vector v sub 2, then there must exist two scalars, c sub 1 and c sub 2, such that c sub 1 times vector v sub 1 plus c sub 2 times vector v sub 2 must equal vector x. It's also true if vector x is a linear combination of vector v sub 1 and vector v sub 2, vector x is in the span of vector v sub 1 and vector v sub 2. Let's go ahead and set up this vector equation where we have c sub 1 times vector v sub 1 with components 5, 4, negative 3 plus c sub 2 times vector v sub 2 which has components 4, 1, 3 must equal vector x, which has components 7, 10, negative 15. And now from here on the left side, we will perform scalar multiplication and then add the two column matrices. The result will be a three by one column matrix where the first entry will be c sub one times five plus c sub two times four, or five c sub one plus four c sub two. The second entry will be c sub one times four plus c sub two times one, or four c sub one plus c sub two. And the third entry is c sub one times negative three plus c sub two times three, or negative three c sub one plus three c sub two. And this is equal to vector x on the right with components seven, 10, negative 15. From here, we will write a system of equations with three equations and two unknowns. Where the first equation is five c sub one plus four c sub two equals seven. The second equation is four c sub one plus c sub two equals 10. And the third equation is negative three c sub one plus three c sub two equals negative 15. And now to solve the system and determine if vector x is a linear combination of vector v sub one and vector v sub two, we will write an augmented matrix and then write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. Because we have three equations with two unknowns, the augmented matrix will be a three by three matrix. Where the first row is five, four, seven. The second row is four, one, 10. And the third row is negative three, three, negative 15. To save some time, I've already found the reduced row echelon form, where the first row is one, zero, three, the second row is zero, one, negative two, and the third row is zero, zero, zero. So we know because the last row is all zeros, we have a solution. Remember the two variables are c sub one and c sub two, which are the first two columns. So the first row indicates c sub one equals three. And the second row indicates that c sub two equals negative two. So now we know the vector equation does have a solution and vector x is a linear combination of vector v sub one and v sub two. We now know that three times vector v sub one plus negative two times vector v sub two, or if we want minus two times vector v sub two does equal vector x. And let's go ahead and write this out. We have three times vector v sub one where the components are five, four, negative three, and then either plus negative two times vector v sub two or just minus two times vector v sub two where the components are four, one, three. This linear combination does give us vector x with components seven, 10, negative 15. And we can go ahead and check this. Three times five minus two times four is seven. Three times four minus two times one is 10. And three times negative three minus two times three is negative 15. So vector x is a linear combination of vector v sub one and vector v sub two, which also means vector x is in the span of vector v sub one 
and vector v sub 2. I hope you found this helpful.